One man's garbage is another's treasure. And these abandoned kilos of corn leaves are exactly what Alphonse and Cedric are looking for. We are collecting food waste for the preparation of organic charcoal. We do it every day. And they take the unsightly fruit and vegetable rubbish to Kemet Ecology, where students and eco-entrepreneurs have developed a process for transforming the waste into fuel. We put the waste in at 105 degrees and after a few minutes, the leaves lose their moisture and are ready to be transformed into fuel. Next, they char the material to cinders in an oven before soaking them in a mixture of water and white clay. The result is organic charcoal briquettes for cooking. It's a non-toxic powerful charcoal. It doesn't produce smoke and doesn't blacken pots, so households will use less wire sponges and less briquettes, as this new fuel lasts longer than other charcoals on the market. Demand is high for charcoal in Cameroon, and with much of it extracted from local mangrove trees, the environmental cost is rising. A kilo of briquettes costs less than traditional wood charcoal, and is enough to cook five meals instead of two. I prefer the organic charcoal. It is effective, it's economical, it doesn't produce smoke, and it heats and cooks food just as well. Kemet Ecology currently produces one ton per month, but despite the growing demand, it says it needs more investors in order for the project not to go up in smoke. Uche Okorongwa, CCTV.